Hello dear students, so I heard from quite some of you that you're having trouble making a bar chart for your animacy effect data. So today I just wanted to show you how to make a bar chart in SPSS for the data that you have. Um, I don't know how to do it in Excel, so that's why I just chose to do SPSS. Uh, it's quite simple actually, and I will also show you how to add an error bar. Uh, so over here I have my animacy effect data, and now to make a graph. There are basically to make a bar chart, there are two possible scenarios. One scenario is where you want to have summaries for groups of cases, and the other one is where you want to have summaries of separate variables. Now, when we think about research question one, it's basically about the difference of animate recognized versus inanimate recognized. And if we look into the data set, this is basically, those are basically two different variables. I have animate recognized here and inanimate recognized here. So in that case, since those are two separate variables, I would like to go for the option here, summaries of separate variables. This I leave as simple. Now, basically I put the variables in here for bars represent. I have animate recognized, inanimate recognized, and what you can see that it immediately, it uh, basically says that it will give you the mean of the relevant variable. You could change that here, but we don't want that. We want to keep it as a mean. Um, and then basically to produce an error bar, you need to go to options. And then here you can go display error bars. And then now it shouldn't be conference intervals. Mm, I mean, you can make a case for it, but I think more standard practice is to use the standard error. You can also use the standard deviation. But um, yeah, just say which one of these two you use, right? So if you put a figure into your paper, you need to give a title like figure one, figure two, whatever, and then like a small description or title. Um, for example, saying bar chart, displaying means of variables animate recognized and inanimate recognized uh, with error bars showing the standard error if you chose that or showing the standard deviation if that's what you chose okay uh, the multiplier should be one for no matter what you use whether it's the standard error or the standard deviation uh, and then basically just have to press continue press ok and now i have this uh, bar chart for yeah animate recognition inanimate recognition and the standard error the bar, i have the error bar over here now, if I want to change something about the look of this table, I can just double click the table. Now, let's say I want the bars to be a bit thinner. I could just select the bars, go to bar options, make it, let's say, 50. 50%. Now it looks like this. I think that looks cleaner, looks nicer. Um, just as an example, if you want to change anything about this axis over here, the increment, minimum, maximum, you can do that over here. But basically, I think you're good with this. So this would be how to make it for the first research question where we have two separate variables. Now let's look at the situation where I only look at one variable. I want to have two different bars representing, let's say, males or females. So for that, again, I go to graphs, legacy dialogues, and I go to bar. But this time I select summaries for groups of cases. Okay, And then basically, OK, I already have it filled in here. Um, so by default, the bars represent the number of cases. Now let's say I want to look for a gender, like a difference between males and females in terms of the total number correctly recognized. Um, then I would choose for the category axis, I would choose gender. And then for basically the variable over here, I want it to represent a mean. Um, right? That's what we want. Uh, so here I put number correctly recognized overall. Here again, I could change it to another statistic, but the mean is what we want. So we keep it like that. And then just the same as for the basically separate variables option, I go to options, display error bars, and then standard error or standard deviation. In this case, let's just make it standard deviation to have one of each. Uh, so we have one bar where it's standard error, one where it's standard deviation. Again, it doesn't really matter what you choose. Just tell in your description of the graph which one you chose. So what the error bars actually represent. And then again, I press continue and press OK. 
and now I have a bar for male and I have a bar for female, just representing the standard deviation. Um, again, I think the bars look a bit too thick. I don't think uh, that is necessary, so I would make them a bit smaller. Um, but if I would not subtract any points if you don't change basically the size of them. I just think it looks aesthetically better if they look like this. Um, yeah, that was basically it. I hope this helps. Uh, I wish you all the best of luck with uh, working on your paper, and I will see you tomorrow. Okay, have a good day. Bye-bye.